We're familiar oftentimes with a register for the checking account, which allows us a more simplified data input into the system, possibly used if I'm entering data directly from a bank statement or something. So it's a little easier than to do the full deposit form and check forms or expense forms this way. I'm gonna go back. Also note, however, this is a way you can get to a register for every balance sheet account. And so if you have a simple transaction that's not normal, meaning it's not like something you use a form for, such as breaking out between short term and long term of a note payable, I could use the register instead of a journal entry. I could still enter a journal entry here, but use the register format to do that. So if there's only two accounts that are impacted, that could be useful, especially if you if you just kind of want to avoid the debits and credits, because now you can think this account's going to be going up or down. And then you can just have the other side go into the other side instead of thinking about debits and credits, for example.